Welcome to Gray Overload and Microsoft has a whole nother blog post trying to make sure that you know what to do to get to Windows 11. They also have one trying to convince you that Windows 11 has uh, some awesome features, some tips to even get more out of it for those that are still stuck with Windows 10. And they want to make sure as we're, they're throwing us on the train tracks to get this uh, pushed down our throats and get us ran over with Windows 11 that um, they want to make sure that you are creating more e-waste so <laughs> they're pushing us down the e-waste thing is just uh, i don't get why microsoft wants to keep throwing away perfectly good working machines you do have alternatives linux and stuff and hopefully maybe someday that'll take off a little bit more and we'll have some more hardware that just doesn't go to landfills over and over again i still think that microsoft should relax some of these especially for home users but microsoft is in the point of making sure that the landfills get full with whatever they can. So <laughs> I'm going to share my screen right now. I'm not bitter at all about what Microsoft's doing about their e stuff. I, it just uh, it, it bugs me that they're throwing away perfectly good working machines, especially, you know, I like to repair machines, like to give them to people that d don't have a machine or like to, you know, um, or don't have the money to be able to get a machine right that's the biggest one i like to you know give machines to when i can and when i have extra ones lying around and they're just kind of making sure that they'd rather have them in a landfill so you get your checklist here first off let's say you get a check for windows updates now October 14th, 2025 is the last day for this now some machines out there i think are going to be uh maybe skipped over and Microsoft's not doing a justice to see if they can get Windows 11. So one thing I'd like to see is if you think that your machine may be capable, there are BIOS updates and stuff. Once you get the BIOS updates, some of the Microsoft tools then will recognize that you can update. And that has been the case. I have a machine here that I need to do an update to all of a sudden from Windows 10 have said, hey, you know what? You can get Windows 11. That's one thing that users can do, hopefully, to save you some money and keep using a perfectly good machine. And another side of it would be to not throw it into e-waste. You know, Microsoft down here says recycle, but we all know what that means. It's still a perfectly working machine, and let's you know, you need to upgrade. So, you know, they said check for updates. Sometimes you check for updates after you update the BIOS, and you know, kind of had. Sometimes it needs updated drivers, stuff like that. You will have a perfectly working machine that will kind of operate Windows 11. If you want to go there, you'll be able to. Microsoft also says in step number two, back up your data. You should always back up your data. Uh, they give you services like OneDrive or, you know, external. Yeah, make sure it's backed up in some form or fashion. You don't want to be losing data. I, I in fact, recommend that outside of this. And, I'll do another video on backup maybe. We're going to have World Backup Day uh, later this year, and that'll be a good time to maybe go through that again. Erase your data. Um, yes, if you're going to recycle your PC or donate it, recycle it, you know, donate the PC, right, to somebody else that w will not be able to support Windows 11. <laughs> Come on, Microsoft. You can't. <laughs> Obviously, whoever wrote this blog post was not thinking. They meant donate your PC to someone that uses Linux. <laughs> Obviously, because we're not going to be supporting it anymore. Uh, so, Microsoft has a reset this PC in recovery. It remove everything, right? It gives the drive a good clean state. I think this is basically, you know, stuff Microsoft's doing. And uh, recycle your PC responsibly. Yes, uh, Microsoft wants to make sure that you um, have lower environmental impact by making sure that what they can do on there, making sure that they can end your PC to make sure it at least has some environmental impact. <laughs> uh, it, it annoys me. I'm, <laughs> I'm annoyed by this because Microsoft is fully capable of just having Windows 11 run on these things. Granted, if your PC doesn't support the you know, instruction set, I can see that limitation, but this artificial stuff with TPM and stuff like this is, I get it, you might want it for businesses, fine. Make that the business school, the skew. Otherwise for home. Now, what they think of Windows 11 having is enhanced securities, new tools, performance improvements, that 
that this is a lie, Microsoft. We know for a fact that this was not the case. In fact, you even had to come up with an update in 24H2. In fact, you put it back into 23H2 that made Windows 11 to be able to close to Windows 10. And we know that Windows 10 is more performant. We've there's data out there that shows that game and data as well. If you're in games, <laughs> go take a look at Tech Guest City. He's been doing it. That um, is not faster. You could say close to the same as Windows 10, about the same. You cannot say faster. Um, <laughs> compatible, stay current with software and hardware optimizations. That's true. Newer hardware does this, but Microsoft, you aren't making well. You aren't making your software optimizations for Windows uh, for the hardware any better right now. In fact, uh, we need to wait for you to get those out mostly. And um, yeah, Microsoft, I, I this is this is this is bad, Microsoft. This is a bad blog post. You obviously don't test your own software. <laughs> wait, we know that already. Can you tell uh, Microsoft has not been winning any uh, things things with me lately? I will say this, Microsoft Windows 11, 24H2, the last couple updates have improved Windows, so it doesn't crash in blue screen as much as it used to. I will say that, they, they have improved it there. And then ongoing support, I think this is the one that Microsoft really is trying to do, that's their ongoing support. Really these other ones, they're just BSing you in all this stuff. They, they're just trying to make sure that you are trying to scare tactics you into buying a new computer. And uh, it's going to work. Unfortunately, it's going to work. And Microsoft said on your checklist, your next thing is to, you know, get a new computer and put Windows 11 on it so that they can have their money. <laughs> okay. So we've gone through the whole blog post of me being, uh, going through it. I think I went through it thoroughly. And micro I added in the correct points that Microsoft should have added in there to begin with. Because they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I I don't know who's writing these blog posts for Microsoft. They don't do a good job and they don't know their own system well. Probably some marketing person there um, that's doing this. You know, and I'm sure somebody might reach out if they see this at Microsoft. Go ahead. I am more than willing to help you help uh, respond to any emails that you may send and give you any tips that you uh, ask for or don't even ask for Microsoft because there needs to be something to change here I I hear complaints all the time Microsoft you know feedback I'm sure hears complaints and yet they fall in deaf ears so seven tips to getting the most out of Windows 11 install Windows 10 <laughs> uh, that's just a little joke um, there if you find it funny you don't work for Microsoft especially the Windows team Make the start menu more confusing. Uh, I mean, oh wait, make the start me menu your own. So the design enhance, maybe they'll actually make a start menu useful. I don't know, but this is not true, Microsoft. The start menu sucks. It's gotten worse from Windows 10. And uh, yeah, if you think it's better, Microsoft, I have to take so many more clicks to get to any place. It's, the search doesn't always work. Okay, Microsoft says this is a tip. I disagree. Master snap layouts for multitasking. Actually, the snap layouts are pretty good. Microsoft has done a, a good job in that area. I've been impressed with what they've done. I mean, it's the one area area uh, I've gone through and I said, you know what? Microsoft's done the snapping pretty good. I don't, I don't really like snapping all that much, but uh, when I do snap, it's done a really good job. Uh, I, I'm impressed with this. Create a desktop for every project. Actually, you know, the um, the multiple desktop feature is very nice to do that and uh, wasn't that also in Windows 10? I can't remember maybe it was but I thought that was with Windows 10 the multiple desktops as well I have to would have to check let's see do I have a Windows 10 machine I can check oh, I just checked uh, when I had a Windows 10 machine that I was able to check and yeah uh, they had that there so this is just a repeat feature again if you're doing tips Microsoft let's stay um, let's let's do something uh, that's Windows 11 only 
One, I think a tip should be you're very performant. We improve this. There's a reason. We're giving you reasons to upgrade, not tips. Reasons to upgrade. Reasons to jump to Windows 11. Stay up to date with widgets. Yeah, I turn this stuff off. Uh, <laughs> I hate the widgets. They're annoying. They always get in the way. They always pop out when you don't want them. So I got rid of them. <laughs> So stay focused. I don't use this. Maybe you will. If you want to stay focused on these sessions, I have work to do and stuff. So I just keep track of my work and stay focused on my work to get that done. I don't need this focus sessions. Maybe it's uh, good. I do use Microsoft to do. It's pretty good, but there's focus sessions. Log in with Windows Hello when it works. I, I th it's gotten better. Uh, it's There's some failure endpoints on this, and I don't really like that. And I have some problems, and most of the time I just go back to the pen because that's that's simple. Enable dark mode for comfort. Yep, I know, except for on your own website, Microsoft, and your blog post where it just stays white and not dark mode in every setting that I have turned on as dark mode. <laughs> and that's your seven tips, you know. There is a, to upgrade, why? Because it's dead, Windows 10 is no longer going to be around for October 14th. End of support, you should upgrade. We got tips for you. We got everything for you, except for features that you want to make you want to go to Windows 11. We screwed up the start menu and put it in the center even. We did that for you, confused you on that. So when every, when every person I decided to do an upgrade to ask me, can you move this? That's the first thing they ask. We made it harder for you. We made this upgrade so that uh, you don't want to use Windows anymore. And you want to look for alternatives. I, you know, I'm yeah, I'm I'm a little bit bitter and I'm a little bit hard on Microsoft, but they keep saying that they would, you know, this last week, right? They went through and said we wouldn't have had this ability if we just didn't take our initiative ourselves. The user feedback would have never gotten there. I. There's user feedback that produces 10 times better UIs than what Microsoft's doing right now. They, everyone's talking about how bad performance is, or has pointed that out. They had to put a patch just for performance in Windows 11, 23H2, 24H2 is where they started with and they put it back, especially for AMD processors. There happened to be some performance also for Intel in certain scenarios. The performance overall has not gotten better in fact, there's game benchmarks out there that show it has regressed. So Microsoft, you know, why the reason why to upgrade outside of the fact that you're removing support and you're ending of life of this, what is the reason to upgrade? And, you know, there's a lot of machines out there that you decide just to, you know what, the best thing for them is to create a whole bunch of e-waste, you know. We want to create an impact on the environment by throwing a whole bunch of stuff away. And that's how I, how I kind of see this. There, There's a much better option, and I'm glad that Microsoft didn't just go through and do like a Windows 12 thing where you needed to have, uh, you know, the MPU and Copilot Plus in order to get that. That, was, that would have been an even bigger disaster because then they would have three operating systems, two with artificial uh, blocking, scenarios and you've been trying to get people off of Windows 10 it just doesn't seem like they're you know giving a people the reason I upgrade except for the fear mongering in this and giving people hey you need to update now we're, we're holding you hostage you have to update and you know a lot of people I work with and stuff uh, you know friends family you know I, I help out people outside of that as well they are all complaining about this, and they don't get why. They don't want their computer to work. Why do I have to buy another one? It works just fine. And a lot of people are frustrated with that, and it just keeps adding up. And hopefully, eventually, maybe somebody will come out with a good uh, Linux OS, easy to use for most people, right? I'm looking for the common denominator. Right, that has basically everything that they want. They can do everything they want easily. They don't have problems with it. It just works. And this all kind of goes away, and Microsoft finally <laughs> has something where, or people have something where Microsoft, they can kind of say, Microsoft, we're not beholden to whatever you're going to do, and however you're going to throw us into something. We just want something that works, and as long as the computer's going to last, we're okay with it. I mean, people are even using their phones longer. It's As long as it just works, 
what's the new feature what's the reason I need to upgrade and what's the reason I need to buy it what's the reason for doing that upgrade and more and more people are asking that and Microsoft is not giving you with this but I wanted to go through some of this give you my own thoughts in it you know my own little <laughs> I'm laughing at it at some of the stuff and just point out some of the craziness that they're saying just to get you to upgrade which Microsoft doesn't give you a compelling reason to upgrade besides the fact they're dropping support in October of this year and that's it Microsoft doesn't care about their users as much as they once did but they don't care that they're giving you the best available product they just care in the end that they're getting their money and they're growing Windows and it's a shame to see they could have done a lot of good things with Windows I had a lot more faith in Windows when they were doing you know some things and trying to listen to the consumer more really putting an effort in to making the best user experience rather than making it harder for the user all around the board and that was you know that was their choice there you know and maybe with Windows they get a new direction there's always hope for a new direction I hope that maybe somebody at Microsoft if they listen to the whole video realizes that the goal of this isn't just to point out you know the craziness and hypocrisy in the whole you know blog post here but that I really want to see them put effort in to make a great product I think that there's a lot of value out there for making a great product and making sure your users actually like using it right software itself should fade into the background so that users can get stuff done if if your hardware and software is popping in front and being the clog to all trying to get for you to get something done that's not a good experience for anybody and it makes you not want to use the computer so Microsoft just get that software in the background and I think that'll be a good move forward Till next time let me know your thoughts on the craziness here of Windows 10 Windows 11 uh, whole upgrade saga scenario and Microsoft pushing that upgrade out to you let me know your thoughts in the comments below and until next time I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting Gray Overload and help this channel grow I really do appreciate it don't forget to like share subscribe hit that bell icon watch all my videos that really does help out the channel Till next time God bless